Hello, this is Margaret Munoz with some EFT tapping tips on getting unstuck. I think feeling stuck is a lot of people's default position, including my own sometimes. It's as if we get on a loop, so you might feel stuck about a relationship or career, finances, health, whatever it is. And then you get frustrated that you're stuck and then you blame yourself that you're stuck which makes you feel even more stuck. So we need to get off this loop and into what I'd call a, a state of flow. So you might want to do a little experiment sometime when you've got a quiet moment and just watch your breath and you'll notice that one breath moves into another breath and then a thought arises and maybe an emotion comes up and you'll soon notice that you're actually always in a state of movement this unfolding process of, of change that, that we are in our bodies. To be alive is, is to have movement. And so when you feel stuck, you're actually blocking this flow, this natural process uh, with some form of resistance, some sort of opposition, obstruction, maybe wanting to, to control things or some sort of holding on, you know, cling on onto things. Uh, whereas, in, in fact, we want to be a part of that flow of life that, that carries our passion, our creativity, our wisdom. The trouble is that going free from the resistance is not an easy task, which is why you and I need to tap. I suggest that, first of all, you start tapping uh, on feeling stuck and accepting yourself anyway because really we we're mad at ourselves for, for feeling stuck so if, if you know what you're stuck at you can name it and I suggest that you feel in in your body where you feel stuck and rate the intensity of it on a scale of 0 to 10 because when we're tapping we like to, to check our process and so then you might tap on something like even though I feel stuck with my finances for example I choose to accept myself anyway and as you as you tap around you might want to affirm that it's that, that you're letting go of the stuckness and, and also that it's it's safe to let it go as you start to um, free things up a bit, you might notice that uh, emotions start to uh, arrive, that, that there's emotions involved in this stuckness. It might be anger, it might be sadness. A lot of fear is usually um, associated with being stuck. So tap on those emotions as, you, as, they, as they emerge. Then as you start to, to feel even freer, you might want to start to contemplate what it is that you're um, blocking or what it is that you're holding on to. Um, you might be holding on to the idea that you're not worthy of receiving, for instance. It's okay if you don't know because you can always tap on, even though I don't know what I'm holding on to, or even though I don't know what I'm blocking. And then you know, tap, a, tap around on that. I don't know. And then we want to start, as we, we're letting go of the stuckness and the emotions involved in the stuckness, we want to start to focus on where it is we want to go. And at the beginning I said, well, that, that's a state of flow. So I really like to use the, the law of allowing and the choices method in this. So, so this, is, um, this is how I do it. I choose to allow my life to flow, or I choose to allow my relationships, my career, my finances, my health to be in flow. I choose to allow my life to flow. Or you might like to try, I choose to allow movement into my life. Or simply, I allow movement into my life. I allow movement into my life. Or another one. 
I choose to release all resistance and embrace ease and flow instead. I choose to allow myself to release all resistance and choose ease and flow instead. So I really hope that that's given you some ideas of how to get unstuck and in, more into a state of flow. Hope you enjoy that. Bye for now.